This video might reveal what might be an extremely frustrating and difficult loophole in the law that could cause virtually everybody in the country that has a driveway a significant problem and inconvenience. So welcome back, I am the Black Belt Barrister helping you to understand law and really excited for reaching 100,000 subscribers and getting the verification check next to my name, so thank you guys. So this loophole that might apply in some situations is if somebody else parks on your driveway, what would you do about that? You might be tempted to ring the police, but the police will tell you it's not a criminal matter because it isn't, it's civil trespass at best. Then you might be tempted to ring the council because the council should and most probably will remove vehicles that have been abandoned because there is a duty upon the council to remove abandoned vehicles that are causing obstruction and things like that. But if the vehicle is on your driveway, the council are only likely to get involved and remove that vehicle if it appears to the local authority that it's been abandoned. If it does appear to the local authority that the vehicle has been abandoned on your property, then the council is likely to remove it. However, if the vehicle, having been checked, has insurance and MOT, and they can trace the owner of that vehicle, the council is not likely to get involved and get the vehicle removed. Which leaves you with no alternative than to trace the owner and file a civil claim to get an order of the court to have this vehicle removed. It's a fairly clear-cut case unless there's a very good reason or excuse to obtain an order of the court to get this vehicle removed, but that isn't going to happen overnight and it's certainly not going to happen without some expense. So this is quite an inconvenient little loophole because the local authority won't have such authority over private driveways, much less the authority to remove vehicles from private driveways. And as I said, the police are not likely to get involved either. The typical case where a council would get involved, and the police might even get involved, is if the vehicle is parked in such a way that it is blocking the driveway or blocking access to the highway. The police might be persuaded to send someone out to investigate who the owner is and try to encourage them to remove the vehicle, but if they absolutely refuse then the police again are not really likely to do anything much more than that. Some people might be tempted to damage the vehicle out of frustration and retaliation, but this in itself would be a separate criminal act and the person causing that damage could be prosecuted themselves for criminal damage. If that's not bad enough, legally you're not even supposed to block the vehicle in because then you would be causing obstruction to the highway, which again is a separate criminal offence. And the owner of the other vehicle, ironically, could call the police about you causing an obstruction to the highway. Although I think in reality if the police did come out there would be frank discussions about who is doing what in this situation. And as a side note there are also sometimes misunderstandings about reserving spaces outside of your house when that space doesn't belong to your property and essentially is just part of the public highway. Well, reserving the space in any form at all could again be viewed as obstruction and you may be liable to prosecution if you do that unless the local authority has granted you the right to do that, although they're only likely to do that in limited circumstances, for example a funeral arrangement. And of course you must remember that there is no inherent right to park directly outside your property unless of course you own that space of land, but in a lot of places it is simply public highway and therefore you don't have any right to park there. But of course you can park there providing your vehicle is taxed, insured and doesn't contribute any parking restrictions or cause any other obstruction to the highway, such as parking in front of dropped curbs, for example. And just to round this brief discussion off, if the car parking there is a neighbour of yours and this is something of a neighbourly dispute, then parking on your driveway not only would amount to trespass in the first instance, but it might amount to nuisance behaviour. And there are potentially some cases where the council might get involved in nuisance behaviour. And again, in the alternative, you could file a civil action to get the car removed and to get an order preventing the car from parking on your property in the future. But as I say, this is going to take time and legal expenses. So let me know in the comments, have you had any situations such as this where you've perhaps had this dispute with a neighbour or someone on your street that's parking on or in front of your driveway and examples of where the local authority and or the police have refused to get involved. I'd be interested to hear your stories. So please like this video, remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.